The Vampire Diaries hasn't historically handled its female characters very well. And even the leading ladies of the series don't get the kind of development and characterization that they really need. But out of the three main girls, Caroline Forbes is actually a very interesting deviation from the norm. The treatment of Caroline within the narrative is shockingly bad overall. Despite the fact that she arguably gets more screen time than anyone throughout the entire series, she occupies a really strange position within the story itself. Because, regardless of her status as a major character from the start, and despite the fact that she evolved into the leading female character, hardly anyone seems to actually like Caroline on the show. Literally from the first episode of The Vampire Diaries, it's established that even Caroline's best friends don't seem to like her as a person. And this is surprisingly one of the most consistent aspects of her characterization for years following. Whether it's her best friend, her boyfriend, her abuser, or her mortal enemy, every single person has something bad to say about Caroline. Even Matt Donovan, of all people, seems to think that he's out of her league. It's actually fascinating that Caroline is portrayed as such a universally disliked character. Because even most of the villains within the story aren't as roundly rejected as she is. And it's also interesting in the sense that Caroline is paradoxically portrayed as both the queen bee of Mystic Falls, but also as someone that no one seems to like whatsoever. But most fascinating of all is the intense contrast between how Caroline is perceived within the narrative itself and how she's perceived by the audience watching The Vampire Diaries. Although Caroline, Bonnie, and Elena are meant to be a trio, it seems clear from the outset that Caroline is meant to be Elena's direct foil. While Elena is supposed to be kind, loving, compassionate, self-sacrificing, intellectually deep, and desirable, Caroline is supposed to be cruel, self-absorbed, thoughtless, shallow, and odious. While every character seems to love Elena as a matter of nature, every character seems to see any kindness towards Caroline as an act of charity, and seems to see any attraction towards her as something that needs to be endured rather than embraced. In yet another interesting contrast between Bonnie and Elena versus Caroline, the other two female leads in the series are special, whereas Caroline very distinctly is not. Elena is the last of a doppelganger bloodline, and Bonnie is one of the most powerful witches in the world. And Caroline is essentially nothing. Yes, she's a member of a founding family. And yes, she eventually becomes a vampire. But there's nothing inherently extraordinary about Caroline in the way that there is with nearly every other major female character in the series. And Caroline's position as a love interest is even weirder. The only character who is ever unabashedly attracted to Caroline for who she is and who doesn't seem to see her as a fixer-upper, is Klaus Michelson, one of the biggest villains in the history of the show. And, while Caroline has some sort of romantic relationship with literally every major male character in the series, with the exception of one or two people, she is very consistently portrayed as a consolation prize at best, and someone to be used and abused at worst. Again, while it may be a reductive way of looking at the dynamic of this entire cast of characters, it seems obvious that if Caroline is meant to be a foil to Elena, then Caroline is meant to be the slutty girl no one really likes, in comparison to the pure and virtuous Elena, whose love is seen as some kind of reward. And unfortunately for Bonnie, she seems to be left out of the dynamic of romantically viable characters completely. So, to make a very long story short, Caroline is a character we are clearly not meant to like. There's nothing special about her, there's nothing intentionally appealing about her, and no one around her actually seems to like her at all. So how exactly did she become popular enough among the audience that she became the de facto lead after Elena was written off the show? One of the obvious possible explanations is simply that there were no other options. Bonnie's development was so tragically lacking that she never really had the opportunity to become as popular as some of the other main characters. And despite the fact that the narrative constantly fawned over Elena, her character development was mostly explained through the dialogue rather than actually shown within the story itself. 
But that explanation seems unlikely to justify Caroline's success in comparison to her treatment within the series. The level to which the narrative drags her really can't be understated. And therefore, the strangeness of her popularity really can't be overstated. However, the success of Caroline Forbes actually says more about the perspective of the writers than anything. Despite the fact that The Vampire Diaries is a series aimed at young women, the storytelling seems to fundamentally misunderstand the audience at nearly every turn. And Caroline is a pretty perfect example of that problem. The show created its leading heroine with the intention of portraying a character that the audience would find aspirational. And they accidentally created that heroine's foil as a character that the audience would actually find relatable. And that relatability seems to be the primary driving force behind Caroline's accidental success with the viewers at large. Caroline may have intentionally been written as a character who experiences nearly constant rejection. But most people have a much easier time empathizing with someone who is always saying or doing the wrong thing, or who never feels like they're good enough, rather than understanding a character who everyone else seems to naturally love and seemingly can do no wrong. And even more importantly, the vast majority of viewers are likely going to appreciate someone who had to choose to become what they are, rather than being born extraordinary. Of course, there are plenty of explanations as to why Caroline Forbes may have appealed to fans of the show. However, it's very interesting that in comparison to characters like Bonnie or Elena, or even more minor female characters like Catherine or Rebecca, Caroline is the only character who wasn't born as an exceptional person or into some exceptional circumstance. Ergo, it comes as no great shock that so many of the female viewers found Caroline more sympathetic and compelling, because the vast majority of them aren't born into extraordinary circumstances. And therefore, a character who has to work towards their own success, but also actually succeeds, is going to be both more aspirational and more relatable to the audience at large. But still, the disconnect between the way Caroline is written as a character and the way that many of the viewers and fans perceive her is really interesting and telling, because the subtext of her character development is largely in direct conflict with the actual text of the series itself. To put it simply, it's fascinating that so many viewers wind up liking Caroline, despite the fact that the show constantly tells them not to. Caroline's character trajectory is largely an object lesson in the importance of showing and not telling. Because while the series constantly directly states that Caroline is the irritating reject that nobody actually seems to like all that much, many of the viewers appear to read between the lines and see her as a sympathetic character who is just the right combination of aspirational and achievable for the audience to actually understand and enjoy. And that is how the Vampire Diaries wrote an appealing female lead when their intentions seemed to be the exact opposite. But what do you think? Did Caroline's success hinge on the fact that she was arguably the most relatable character in the series? Or was it something else? Leave your comments and opinions below. And if you're interested in more content like this, like and subscribe.